where's the team at right now? Um, really good. I, I feel like first week was a good week of practice. We had pads on on Friday and had uh, pads on today, so we'll be able to see what we can do more up front. And I'm uh, really pleased with the progression I've seen from the O line and D line specifically. Um, you know, our run game looks pretty good, and our defensive line has actually been a little, little bit more stout today than they were on on Friday. And so, um, I think we'll evaluate the film a little bit more. But uh, all together as a team, I'm really pleased with how we're going. But I think a lot of coaches would probably say that. So it's just probably coaching talk. You know, it's not really anything that I'm really disappointed about. Probably, if I had to pick one, it's probably a little bit too too chippy and wasting my time with all the fighting. So, but we'll get that fixed. Funny. I kind of just mentioned the fact that with this offense has different tempos they can run at. Do you like that being that versatility? Yeah, I mean, I think it can, whatever you can do to, to get the net, get an edge, right? So um, uh, I know speaking for defense, it's, a lot, it's really difficult when you're changing up the pace and changing up the tempo. And, and so uh, with all the different formations and different uh, personnel sets that we're using, I think it's a good, good mix to go with what our offense is doing right now. So many guys have talked about how the attention to detail is what's being talked about a lot. How, how has the team done with that early on? Well, I mean, they're, they're used to that, you know, so um, discipline and demanding, that's what, that's what they, they live their whole life that way. So I, I don't think um, demanding more for them is going to really um, shock them, you know. So they've answered the call every time we've asked them to do something, and uh, our coaches and myself and crew have been really pleased with the way that they responded. And it's starting to um, bring out a lot more leadership in a lot of our guys, and um, you know, they just really can't hide when you're dealing with the details and you're, the specifics of things. And so that's what we're focusing on. And also, you know, looking at getting better fundamental football. And so I think that will help us be a, little, a lot more successful in the fall. Some of these guys are in the third offense since coming to BYU. Do you feel like the learning curve for them picking up this offense is a little easier than the last transition? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we don't want them to get used to, you know. So, um, but, I, I mean, they're, they're smart guys. And, the academics here is really hard, so asking them to, to change offense is not too difficult, especially when there's a lot of carryover. And so there's a lot of things that they're familiar with in all three schemes. And, um, you know, I think right now, I think we're offensively, we just added a bunch. I'm not used to seeing an offense add that much in, in the first week, and uh, I've been really, really pleased with the way that the, the players have grasped all the, all the learning and the new stuff. With Tanner still recovering and having kind of a limited role, what does he provide this spring to your offense? Oh, he's doing a great great job getting the guys to go on, I mean, cheering them on and, and helping a lot of the young freshmen, especially the new guys here. And uh, He's always been a, a good a good support. I mean, he did the same thing when Taysom was starting, and he was uh, his backup, you know. So right now uh, he's not able to compete 100%, but he's able to, to help, help lead and support, and I've been really happy with the way he does that as a teammate. That's it. Last year, you at this time, you were talking about going by committee, by running back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think Ty on way out said maybe that was a mistake, that he wishes he would have gone to a more of a workhorse back. Well, are you going to change philosophy this year? Or are you, what, what is that? No, that's not my philosophy. That's what the offensive coordinator decides. And so uh-huh. the offensive coordinator plays who they want. And, and uh, if I agree with it, then we'll go with it. You know, but I think last year just nobody really stood out and took the took – the, uh, Starting spot, whether it was um, injuries or just not uh, just uh, not being able to do it, you know. So, I think Coach, um, looking at AJ and Grimes, I think they want to get this thing settled as soon as possible. And so uh, we'll work on that. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to label it any any special thing. We'd like to have more than one running back, though. So uh, I think we're doing a good job. I think guys are starting to emerge as as a, as a good running threats for us, and we'll have it settled by the time we get to the fall. We only saw. It. Seven quarterbacks out there. Uh, mm-hmm. You see, Cody is he? What's his status? Yeah, so Cody's um, asked for release, and so we're going to grant him that. I think um, you know we want him to, to have success, and we're just we'll support him any way that we can. I I talked with him as a head coach and been able to sit down with him and a really positive conversation, you know. But I think he looks he wants to get on the field and play as soon as possible, and I think he's looking for a different place to do that. He, he loves football. He's been a great support to us and a great. Um, you know, a great teammate to our players, and so I wish him the best. But I'll be there to help him out as much as possible. I think quarterbacks on the roster is that kind of expected attrition that a lot of these guys are floating around, or at least some of them. Um, just want a lot of quarterbacks. I just, I just rather have too many than none. So um, if, if guys are, I'm just not gonna just you know take one quarterback, and if there's a great one sitting there, then I'm gonna recruit them. So I want the best players here, and. 
if it hurts some people's feelings, and so be it. That's just part of football, you know. But uh, I, I don't believe in um, in manipulating the roster and manipulating the depth chart. The depth chart's always settled on the field, and um, we'll have we'll have a, always have a good group of quarterbacks to compete with, and if uh, and the best will play. That's what we're going to deal with right now. And, but at the same time, I, I'm really respectful to the guys and then what they what their desires are. Some guys want to play early, and if that's the case, and then then they either need to prove it here on the field or. or find a different place to go. Do you feel Zach Wilson's maybe farther ahead than maybe other true freshmen you've seen in the past at this program? From what we're seeing, it seems like he's he's a, a little further ahead. You know, he's able to get... Uh, I think the early start in being here mid-year has been good for him, too, and uh, learning the offense and, and uh, you know, being able to graduate high school early. And people keep forgetting that he's supposed to be in high school right now, you know. So I've um, been really impressed with his, his, with his uh, knowledge of the game, and he's been... He's had some really good coaches in high school and had some really good mentors. His dad's always been a guy to help him too. So uh, I think he's going to. He understands the system. He gets. A, he's able to compete. But at the same time, he's had a lot of the older guys take him under his wing. Bo and Bo Hodge has done a great job of helping him, and so has Joe Critchlow and Tanner Mangum. And it's nice to see these guys compete, but it's also nice to see them work together and they come you know, do the best thing for for BYU. And so uh, there's there, there's no secrets. They share everything they can and try to settle it on the field, which is the way I want it to be. And the format for Thursday is going to be maybe more of a scrimmage format? Um, probably a little bit more some live stuff, yeah. I'd like to get to that. And um, At BYU, we have the one day for spring break, so I didn't have any spring break when I was here, so I, I tell the players, you guys are so lucky you have one day spring break. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't take off studying too long. But, yeah, that, I think um, that would give them an extra day to heal, so we'll probably try to liven it up a little bit.